At first glance, the Perlan 2 doesn't look much different than your average engineless glider plane. But don't let your eyes fool you, this is no ordinary glider. Despite not having an engine, the Perlan 2 is designed to fly high up into the stratosphere, somewhere around 90,000 feet above sea level. For reference, that's nearly three times as high as most commercial airliners go, and higher than any winged aircraft has ever gone before. And it plans to get there without an engine. So how the hell is that possible? Well, here's the deal. Back in the 1930s, German glider pilots discovered that they could reach incredible elevations by riding on the massive updrafts created over mountain ranges. This intrigued scientists, and after years of observation, it was theorized that with the right conditions, these mountain waves could potentially reach high into the upper atmosphere. Thing is, nobody knew exactly how high these waves could reach. So in 2006, NASA test pilot Einar Anevoldsen and the late adventurer Steve Fawcett designed a glider to find out just how high they could fly by surfing on these mountain waves. Together, they took the Perlan 1 up to 50,722 feet, and they would have gone higher too. The only problem was that their jumpsuits inflated in the lack of atmospheric pressure at such a high altitude, which filled up the glider's tiny cabin and made it difficult to fly the plane. In that moment, they realized they needed a plane with a pressurized cabin, and the Perlan 2 project was born. Fast forward nine years and here we are. The Perlan 2 plane, complete with a pressure-ready cabin, recently completed its maiden voyage, and will attempt to break the 90,000 foot mark sometime in 2016. But mere record breaking isn't the primary goal of the mission. It's really just a cool achievement that'll happen along the way. What the Perlan project really wants to do is collect data on atmospheric mixing between the troposphere and the stratosphere. Information that will help scientists improve weather models, gain a better understanding of how humans are impacting climate change, and even design an aircraft that might one day fly on Mars.